Nights are darker in the shadow deep. It's almost like night has a night of its own. The world's colour drains away, leaving a perpetual darkness that is thicker than any marsh. Gaurun, the Chosen One, and his companions lay in the desolate ruins of the once grand convent of St. Emilia, looking about as far from the confident group that had entered the Shadow Deep as was possible to get, every one of them bearing wounds of battle and scars of mind that they would carry until their dying day, however far that may be. Entering the convent through the gatehouse, the group had battled their way past its guardian in search of the decanter of St. Emilia. The rabid detritus that festooned the chamber revealed other darker creatures that had lain dormant for perhaps centuries, awaiting the arrival of interlopers into their lair. Following a hard-fought and bitter battle, the group had staggered through the gatehouse and into the ruins of an ancient chapel where worship had once been conducted, full of hope, vigour and love, but was now just the domains of shadows, and shadows' shadows. The ruins were filled with the dwellers from the shadow deep, creatures of rot and ruin that crawled from caverns and holes so deep that they had never seen the sun. Although battle-hardened and brave beyond measure, the heroes had fallen to the heavy blades and disease-ravaged claws of the Shadow Deep's worst. All except one. Quen had followed Gaurun for many years. An expert hunter and tracker, her skills had been much in demand all over Alador. But never had she felt alone as she had done in that moment. Her friends fell one by one leaving her alone with a bow in the ruins of the old bell tower, the fate of the whole expedition in her hands. It was there that she felt the real reserves of her courage, the real power of her aim. It was there that maybe the fate of Alador was decided. Shooting arrow after arrow into the black hearts of the foul undead creatures, Quen had won the day and managed to drag the injured and mangled bodies of her colleagues to safety as darkness fell like a shroud. Quen had had her finest hour. Gaurun sat up, his wounds starting to heal. He looked to where Quen sat on a ruined wall, still keeping guard against the darkness. He tried to speak, but his voice failed him. Taking a brief moment to compose himself, he looked around at the battered survivors of his mission. Come on, it's time to move, he said. The evil has risen, and so shall we. The adventure continues. <laughs>